McGinnis will bring it across the line in a hurry around Jones. Shot short, foul anyway. Can take the shot offense, and it's geared to anybody traveling on artists. Razors basketball to McGinnis inside. He got Jones up, and what do we got here? At that point of the game, there's no bonus or anything. Yeah, but I don't know how you wipe the goal team. Adversity, to say the least. Big Mac is 37. An excellent shooter. Got 58%. McGinnis has got the three in the sky. Oh. Got nothing but net. Big George has picked up all six of the Indiana points. You can see we're trying to drive around a screen. The likes of which Gilmore says it takes you about five extra seconds to get around that guy. This is Joyce tying it up in there. That's quite a matchup, too, with Bird against Billy Knight. Elmore, top of the circle, got it. Well, quickly back up. Knight will fire. He will score, and the foul is called against Kentucky, and it may be on. But it now takes it and misses. Rebound picked off. Issel stripped away by Knight and picked off by McGinnis. Three on two. Hillman goes in for the slam dunk. And oh, did he get clobbered? Mark. McGinnis being guarded by Gilmore. Joyce has the three in the sky, and it's good. Brown to Elmore. It's McGinnis double pumping and firing on Issel and scoring. So yet, Kentucky's out in front by five at 40 and 35. Knight, corner. Yep. Put Kentucky into the bonus of their fifth team foul some time back. Five minutes to play. Here's McGinnis outside. Yes. yes. This time, and he missed it. Rebound by Boosie, though. Boo back outside of McGinnis. He will fake the three. Swing down the lane. Underhand it up and miss it. Rebound, but I think McGinnis will get credit for the basket, and he will. On a goal, Timmy call on Gilmore. The lead goes now back to that eight-point difference. That's the biggest lead they had in the first half. McGinnis around Will Jones, shoves him away, fires and scores. Got it down low to Gilmore. Turns to his left, and Lenny got a piece of the ball. Sure McGinnis did. has got it. Yeah, maybe that'll uh, encourage Mr. Elmore just a little bit. KJ, 18 feet away, is good. Or Lenny doing well, overplaying him on the left side. He won't normally go that direction. If he goes to his left, his uh, percentage comes down considerably. A three by the home run. They give George the three. There's McLean all by his lonesome. Rebound, Elmore. Lenny's got at least three here in the second half early. McGinnis has got the three in the sky again, and it's good again. In turn style. And nobody's been able to get the job done. They've been to the finals twice and lost both times. Joyce, great play inside on a super uh, pass from McGinnis. Moving it around, you're going to have an awful lot of alleys to work from, and that's what's happening right there. Of course, Louie can hit him inside. Here is Billy Knight shooting over Ted McLean and getting it right back. A ton of room as Knight backs up to front Gilmore. Jones running into McGinnis. Offensive foul on Will Jones. That'll be three. The three went off. Gilmore, no. Rebound. Issel back up. Blocked away by Hillman and picked off by Keller. Billy Knight runs to the corner, shoots from there, missed it. Rebound picked off McGinnis, back up and good. Being the most valuable player uh, in the league, not this year, of course, but for years to come because Tracian Factor getting him to side he won. McGinnis converts them both. Much at guard. You fear the big man in the middle, you fear an Issel, but their guards have hurt us a great deal. Here's McGinnis back out to Lenny, about 17 feet out is good. Awfully quick. Very, very quick guards for Kentucky. McGinnis, good play. Foul on Gilmore. As they just aren't quite sure yet. This is for real. McGinnis gets the free five. Eight minutes exactly to play. They give him room, and they miss. And the rebound comes to McGinnis as McLean couldn't get it to fall. And yeah, let's see what Bobby Leonard called during the timeout there. See if we're going to change the offensive pattern. It appears to be a little bit of a slowdown game now. We've got to have some points. McGinnis turning on Issel, shooting, scoring. Nothing picks four. Issel you with can four. See this. Yes, you so six for nine. Got an ABA. Yes, yes, they are. 100 to 93 is the score. McGinnis going down the lane tonight on the baseline, and he's got it. It's all over in Kentucky, and the Colonels are going to hang their first ABA championship banner from the Raptors at Freedom Hall. They have won it 110 to 105. You see the players congratulating each other.